Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and it's the 21st of August, so it's the uh, weekly update on the progress on the pineapple guavas. Um, I'm only going to feature Triumph today, as that's the one that's got the most obvious fruit set on it. There are odd fruits on the other plants. Um, I've had a quick, uh, a quick tot up on the plant. Um, let's have a look and see. Um, it's got about two dozen fruits on it this is the largest one here now the fruits were probably almost double this size last year um, by the third week of August um, that's because they were very late this year coming into flower because of the very cold weather we had but nevertheless um, there's about two dozen fruits now I've had a bit of a trim up of this plant this is the one that was hanging right down onto the grass um, and really it was getting a little bit on the messy side so what I decided to do was to cut off all the lower branches that were hanging down because they were getting damaged anyway when I was trying to cut the grass and um, I didn't remove any fruits at all what I did was made sure that any branches are trimmed any branches I trimmed didn't have any fruits on them or either had fruit that clearly hadn't set so I have left all of the fruits on this plant um, I've, I've thinned a few that hadn't clearly hadn't set they were very thin and turning yellowy so um, they hadn't set whatsoever so I'm hoping that what I've got left even on bunches like this here I've thinned two or three fruits out that clearly had not set because they weren't swelling behind the calyx that's the base of the flower but you can see all of these have got swelling on them so there's every likelihood that they'll keep on forming the only slight problem we've got is the time of the year um, they're a little bit behind where they should be at this rate they're not going to be ready certainly until November and of course if we get a very cold October that could really mess up the uh, that could really mess up the development of them but at least uh, they're looking reasonably promising and obviously I'll do a, an update in a week's time just to see if there's any notable difference I'm not going to compare them with any coins or measure them you can probably see uh, the differences in size between them certainly going to have one edible one this year but we'll see how the others do so that's triumph i won't show the other plants because there's not much to see on them even on the weekly updates but i uh, thought i'd interest anybody who's trying to grow these in uh, cooler climates or in the uk anyway thanks for watching the video please give me a thumbs up share it with anyone you think's interested uh, obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and you'd like to know more and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to see updates on the developments of these fruits catch up with you all soon Brett out for now